Hello, I'm Walt and I just watched The Man Who Knew Infinity. Now I'm doing a math degree, so it makes sense that I watched uh, The Man Who Knew Infinity. And uh, whatever to say is, uh, you know, it's it's hard for me to say because I like this type of movies. I, For me, it's kind of like it's a very uh, guilty pleasure for me. Like the guy who overcomes uh, like his so to say roadblocks in his life and those movies kind of inspire me I I think I that's why I like the Patch Adams and all of those other um, movies that fall into this genre I would say uh, more 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 like a uh, um, a coming of age or a uh, proving someone to be wrong you know there's always gonna be like that someone who's like oh no you're 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 different and that's why we don't like you and blah 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 but I thought that the um the the relationship between uh Irons and uh, uh Dave Patel was uh really good uh I thought that um the uh the actor who played um Littlewood was uh really good um he had really that uh English little um uh, what you would call a pug in America, but I know there's another term for it, but, um, oh, bulldog, sorry. Uh, he, lo he looks very much like a bulldog, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, you know, uh, uh, I think they did a very good job at, um, reflecting on, uh, uh, Indian culture and at least, um, I would say the traditions of, uh, Indian cultures are, um, the way that they're brought up uh, at the, it's, it's very true that um, India was colonized by uh, um, England and you know that's why uh, some uh, Indians went over to England is because of the colonization and uh, the same for Malaysia as well uh, we were colonized, uh, colon colonized by England and that's why or the British sorry uh, and that's why uh, we had a relationship there as well. Um, I would say this this movie is very textbook. Uh, there, I think, if this was a real like uh, um, real real true story, it would most likely be could be a documentary. Um, I think these like documentary type of movies or these uh, based on true event stories has to follow some of the tropes. I saw it in um, Imitation Game, I saw it in uh, um, Stephen Hawking movies, I, f I forgot. <laughs> Uh, there was the one with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and there was another one which both I watched too which I'm having a hard time remembering because these movies all fall in the same place like I said um, I think one of the, the the interesting things for me is how they dabbled with the East uh, Asian uh, cultures at least um, or rather the Hindu cultures and how the culture clash happens but we saw that in the hundred foot journey so um, that's one of the things that I wanted to bring up uh, the character development again I just thought Jeremy Irons and uh, Dave Patel did a really good job um, and of course you'll have the the stereotypical um, person who's like oh no no you you can't you can't or like outtake me or whatever like you can't um, be above me and that's the uh, other professor whose name I totally forgot at the movie it's just like but ah you won't forget it <laughs> you won't remember his name anyway he's just the he's just the asshole <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny but I was like come on just let me hear his name a little bit again <laughs> uh, but maybe I did and I just forgot it anyway um, I I really enjoyed um, watching him and the uh, the actress who who played uh, Janaki. I think her name was along the lines of uh, Daviska Bufsaki or something like that. Something along those lines. Uh, she's a new actress. 
and it was really I mean the only nitpick I have I think is that uh, she plays the very much like the damsel or the person who was uh, forced into this marriage I mean you know it's it's very um, it's very much to the uh, old Asian tradition I would say of uh, the arranged marriage and uh, you can see that they were arranged marriage and uh, I mean they, they were match made um, and uh, they sort of fell in love and I don't know how that works but I think uh, it's more like uh, you know you get to know each other more throughout or whatever and there are compelling arguments to arranged marriages but I think the best marriages that I feel uh, needs to be love marriage because you know uh, you can't be forced into anything but then again you know these type of arranged marriages are very much tradition wise so how can you uh, oppose that um, I would say that this movie you know portrays the um, the debate about how someone can just uh, come up with uh, formulas or you know formulations of mathematics because I'm I, I'm good at math but the, like the stuff he does I'm like what the hell dude like that's like super hardcore math like my math is the Oilers and Jacoby those were the two names that came up when I was like oh hey, I know those people <laughs> they came up with my units <laughs> Um, other than that, um, you know, I, I didn't know what they were talking about. I mean, you know, simple stuff like infinite series, hypergeometric series that they brought up. I was like, okay, I know that, I know a little bit on that, um, and I know it's very hard. Uh, and the debate that I thought uh, faltered a little bit on uh, Jeremy Irons part was, uh, you know, how uh, Newton proved his, uh, his stuff at a long point, but he got his formulas from his head as well so like if I was to compare uh, um, Mr. Ramanujan I would compare him to Newton because he's the real first scientist where I reflect on and say you know he's the guy who created calculus you know he's the guy who created infinity you know he's the one who created gravity as well you know these are things that no one has heard of in his time and it took a long time for him to prove it out because it just came to him you know and uh, and even Jeremy Irons kind of concedes that in the middle of the movie and he's like yeah it take, took time but again you know we could prove it um, but then again he, uh, Newton published his own stuff you know Principia de Mathematica is his own publications you know he didn't go to any publications and uh, he did it himself um, and this is just the t again it's the underdog movie you know where you know that this guy is supposed to come and like show everyone that uh, he has the skills and he has the abilities to to come across as good or you know has the abilities to uh, be a genius or already is a genius and he has to prove himself to other people and you know I think like these type of movies are so sappy and everything but I eat it up like kibble I'm not gonna lie like I, I really enjoyed this movie I think uh, I only skipped around it because like it was getting old at one point I was like yeah yeah I know this point so I'll skip a little bit um, but I thought the the ending especially was really really uh, interesting because it's uh, Jeremy and Jeremy Irons uh, <laughs> coincidentally a butler <laughs> turned a professor now. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, no, I think uh, he did a really good job at the morning. Uh, I mean, he you know he did a really good job like acting that he didn't want to emote but I think he knew that he he would have some of the feels for uh, uh, Dave Patel or his protege or, or whatever I would say it's more of his protege because he's like oh you know I found this guy you know because uh, you know he 
cut it out there and I, I picked it up, blah blah blah. Um, it's just a story that I've seen time and time again and it's uh, it's kind of like the movie uh, Pele as well. I know he's a very famous uh, football uh, legend soccer there I know <laughs> uh, or soccer uh, in America um, but we call it soccer, football because you use a foot man <laughs> uh, never mind <laughs> I'm not gonna get into the debate um, no I think this movie is just a nice little bit to you know uh, pay homage to uh, an Indian mathematician and um, it's really I wouldn't say it's worst. I think um, the next movie I'm gonna review. I think that's like close, like not not close, close, but like close to Pan. Like Pan is number one on my uh, like worst movies list, and uh, I think uh, the next movie I'm gonna review is like number seven or something. I don't know. Like it's somewhere between number five and number seven. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like. Ah, so bad. Um, but no, this movie is um, this movie is intriguing. Like the stuff that uh, you know they were talking about in the movie, they've technically got like most right. Like I was really surprised because uh, you know I thought they were gonna like adapt it more or whatever, but it's kind of stayed true to itself in a way, um, and. I think this is quite underrated I would say you know it kind of reminds me of um, Whiplash but whereas Whiplash you know you kind of see the the the, um, the teacher torturing him and pushing him pushing him and pushing him and and uh, Neiman feels himself to need to push uh, this guy you know kind of flails left and right I would say uh, most likely he doesn't want to uh, he doesn't want to be seen to favor Dave Patel. Um, but I I thought that um, that they could have worked off each other better a little bit. Um, but they they worked at the end, and this is just a small nitpick for you. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, I was just gonna tell you the next movie I'm gonna re uh, review. It's uh, a movie called LOL. I don't know why I watched that movie, but I just saw the title and I was like, it's gonna be a good satire of kids today, right? Right? And I was wrong. <laughs> so wrong. Well, I'll see you then. I'm so sorry for this review being out of tension, but what do you expect? Um, so, see you then. Bye.